Hey, and welcome back to the channel, everyone. This time, I'm going to be doing some talking through the race runs from the last round of the Capital Enduro Series. So dropping straight in with stage one. It had been a bit wet in the days leading up to this, so this top section was a little bit drifty. But it got a bit more tricky the further down you went. This was probably the stage with the least amount of flow uh, across the entire day, I would say. So we actually used that start section three times across the race. This was one of the stages that we only ran once, but there was a couple that we repeated. Now you start to get into the tricky section. In here, usually we dive off right, but this bit of track is something that Roger found and just had to put in. This horrible little climb there, really tricky in the way there was actually a little dab to just push the bike through and keep the momentum. But it's nice to have a bit of track in that's not used so often. And I felt really nice through here in practice and in the race it just got a bit like untidy. You know when you're putting a bit too much power down and a bit too... I don't know, you're trying to push a little bit too much when really if you backed off a little bit and just rode a bit smoother it would probably be nicer. Little hop over the log. Then these little road crossings are pretty interesting, but here, oh, you have to get high and get around those rocks. They are just all like baby polished head size. Disgusting. And then here on this last corner, I like this little hop over the rock here to give you a straight line in. And a P7 to start the day. I'll take that as a solid, solid start. In with stage two. And here you got one of those really tricky flying starts. The starting has been something that's been hotly debated with the race, but this was seemed like a common starting place. It's a bit risky because if you miss that timer, then yeah, you're in trouble. Your, your day's gone. So it's, it's a risk versus reward thing. Now this track, again, we use this a bunch of times on the day. I think it's three times. Twice we go right after the jump down here, once we go left. I felt a bit bad for straight line in that, I'm not going to lie, but there was no tape there and it's a race. So, yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that. So yeah, the first one, we come left here, through this section, and here it got really, really tricky, this right-hander. But this inside had opened up, which I really like. It cut out some really technical routes. And usually we were bearing a bit more to the right, but this has been opened out. And you have to say, hats off to the guys at the bike park because you can see how clear the trails are and how many leaves there are either side of the trail and that was down to them getting out and just having a leaf blower over the whole track like every stage we raced had leaf, like all the leaves blown off which is an incredible amount of effort and it just made the day so nice by the time you got to this bit it was really really gassing but it was quite a tough stage but it's like gassing because they're such short stages and you have to be so like flat out in them there's no let up the p4 here on stage two which for me is incredible and it wasn't a super clean stage and looking at the riders around i'm so happy with that stage three so really into the day now we're on the other side of the hill out in the open this high line into this first corner really opened out and I only found it a, a few weeks ago. But these jumps, like you're hitting them so fast and it's just trying to like get to the edge of the lip so you're not taking off. But it was really tricky because in practice the sun hadn't really got on this track yet so it was quite slippery. But then as the day went on and the sun was on it more and more, it got more and more grippy. If any of you watched the video from last year, here is where I had my first big crash of that day. That day was very bad for me. Um, yeah, <laughs> so we didn't use the right option on this one, we just used left which I think is probably the scarier option. Scarier, harder, depends which way you look at it. And here we come into it now and it's quite damp, you can see there's a few people gathered and it's just a bit of a sketchy moment. It doesn't look like much on camera but I'll tell you when you stood at the top of that, it looks spicy. So the stage ends right by the other one, and P6 on stage 3. Okay, so stage 4. And it's back at the same start for stage 1, except this time we're going to be switching off right. This bit was changing every time. It was getting baked by the sun, but it was having riders on it. And it was super wet, so you just kind of slid down it. Here, yeah, it's not much of a catch firm but you're coming in it at some pace. And 
this is about how confident you are coming over this tiny little drop thing. But all of this under here, you can't really see, it's all just roots. Then coming into this corner, you saw the front move a bit there. It's just all over the place, man. Like, it wasn't pretty. The I've ridden this so many times. It's pretty greasy. I've got a nice line that I usually try there and come further to the right. You couldn't hold it. It was so moist in there. You can see the bike just going everywhere. I dropped both clips and I was just bouncing on the pedals. And it's just poor riding from me on that one. I'm a bit disappointed in myself. Sort your life back, bike. And then about here, everything sort of settled back down. And the ending of this stage is pretty tough. It's that was really untidy. Some of the hardest pedaling on the day. Really, really got to put the power down on this section, but it's quite wet and you're already a little bit tired. Yeah, so it really wasn't my like finest day today. And then this at the end, there's a dude right, right at the stop, and I was shouting him, but I weren't stopping. So, P8, I mean, could have been a lot worse that one. Okay, so stage five. This is the same stage that we're going to finish on. This is Alex DH. This corner is always tricky. A lot of people like to put the bike on oh, the front end that. there. I don't to feel super down. comfortable doing that on that corner for some reason. I can never get it working oh. super nice. So I like to just like hunker down and roll him around. Now here, well there's Alice on the side of the track. Here is the pipe of death. So many people crash on that. And then you just got to hook into that little outside berm and you can really carry some pace back here. But this was so, so slick. And then coming into here, he's carrying some pace, man, and it's pretty sketchy. Ah, oh, yeah, that actually felt like a really clean run. Really not vibing on that jump that they've put in there. I just don't feel like you can carry the speed around it. Risk versus reward again with that finish line, but he free, man, he free. Fresh off one of the like most proud stage results I have of the year. And stage six into this same top section again. And I don't know how many times I've rode this man. Too many. No, it can't be too many. It's super nice. So I've got my little markers like there. You had that little yellow pipe, and you just want to stay above that. Here, you pedal in, you get over or to the left of that little bridge. Don't do that outside of races. You know, that's a race day douche line, but sorry about that. Felt a little bit squirrely on the jump that time. And then this is a new section, and this is one that I just spoke to Roger about in the week leading up to the race, saying that someone had shown me it. Um, oh. Thought it would make some really good racing. Oh. I'd lost my clip just coming over that rock there, so it's coming to this section, a little bit bouncy on my right foot, but you just try and stay off the brakes all the way through there. And then you come over the green bridge, and this thing, and bang, there's a chain ring on the rock, man. Sorted it out for the second run on that stage, but it caught me out a bit. And gosh, P6 again, happy with that. That is a good stage. So now we're on to stage seven, which is a repeat of stage three. So we're back out into the open onto the sort of free ridey jumpy line, which is always interesting to try and squash. But now we get to start breaking down like like which run was faster and, and stuff like that. And I actually went 0.6 of a second slower this time on this stage, which, you know, 0.6 of a second is nothing, eh? Um, but that actually left me two stages lower. Uh, so it's hard to hard to say what that means. They're just numbers, but, uh, but that's what they are. But here we go, like into the tricky section again. And I felt really good coming into it this time. Like, if you'd asked me, I'd have said that this was my faster run of two. But coming into here, like, this bit, you're only thinking about what's coming up now. And there, like, you really do have to think about it, because it's such a sketchy moment. When you get it right and you feel the flow all across here, it's super tidy. And, like I say, P8, two places back on the first run on that stage, but only 0.5 a second back. Okay, stage eight. And it's this start for the final time. There's not much else I can say different about this one this time, eh? Yeah, there we go. Over that bit. Somehow managed to almost get lost there, right? Fun 
fact, this little catch worm there, I actually built that many, many moons ago. With the help of Oscar, I say. So right, time for some redemption in the rock garden. This time, I was so frustrated with myself for fucking up, because I've ridden this rock garden a lot, because I think it's such good training. And it came in and just went to attack. Fuck how wet it felt, that didn't matter. Doesn't matter. Got the line a bit better through there. There's not super amount of gradient on it, so it's hard to keep afloat, but managed to stay on the line that I usually ride and get through it. I'm really happy with that. Like the conditions are disgusting and it's awkward to keep the speed up, but I'll take it. Okay, the bottom section, you know, it's just hard work. So on this one, on stage eight, I managed to go 1.4 seconds faster than I did when we did it before, and that actually made two places. I would say that that's pretty much all in that rock garden, uh, and it's nice here to you know, not smack into another bike. Holy shit. So, the last of the flying starts. And again, we're into this top section. So this first corner, I don't know what other people do, but I've found the inside work better for me. I've crashed there a few times, I've gone wrong there a few times. It's just really awkward to work that one out. Or it took me a while anyway. Again, up and over the yellow pipe, around the corner, and uh, you know, for the last time going across there. We've we'll talked about that. Again, not the tidiest of jumps across there, but oh, look out, Pig and Alice on the side of the track. Little bit of a drift coming in there. Got this section cleaner this time, which I was quite happy with. But interestingly, I looked at the times on this one from when we ran it before, and it, uh, this run was 0.0. .0 nine of a second faster and that actually meant I was one place lower <laughs> so yeah uh, make of that what you will I was just happy that I didn't smack my chain ring on that rock and didn't unclip in the nice bit okay sat at the top of the hill for the last race run of 2021 it was a big moment I was quite excited for this one. I really do like this track. Oh, yeah, again, didn't really pick up the front end, but I feel like I can get that pretty smooth, man. Here it always scares me because there's two like tree stumps in amongst that undergrowth. Which is, uh, it's always in the back of my head. Like, if you go down there, you're in trouble. Right, coming into the pipe of death. It's not pretty, but you just have to get the front end over. That's cool. And again, out into the little catch burn. Bosh, and you can see the bike will pivot as you hit it. It really sets you up nice for this section. There doesn't seem to be any like rhyme or reason for my sort of stage times. This one was just over a second slower than my first one on it, but it actually felt better. So I'm not really sure where that came from. But absolutely no stress. Like it was a solid run for me. I really can't do much more than that. Uh, and again risk versus reward slam the, the finish line big skid you know for the fans p6 on the stage p6 on the day which left me with a fifth in the overall it's been a great season racing capital enduro was absolutely awesome and that's it full season with no broken bones <laughs> that's a goal in fact